Hi, I'm Matt and welcome back to Soil Lab. Today we're going to be looking at a few different nitrogen sources that we've been getting questions about. If you've been following along on Soil Lab, my hope too is that you're looking a little more closely at those fertilizer labels. So let's go ahead and dive in, look at what we're seeing above ground here in this nitrogen source study. We just picked three single bag fertilizers off the shelf and we're gonna be comparing that above ground quality, vigor, and overall color. So as we look at this study, you probably notice that this one's standing out. This is that untreated control. This untreated control, as well as all of our other trays, is planted to an 80-20 perennial ryegrass Kentucky bluegrass mix. The first bag fertilizer we used is an ammonium sulfate. Then we used a urea-based fertilizer. And for those of us that really want those OMRI-approved organic fertilizers, this is an OMRI-approved 1600 protein hydrolysate. So let's talk about what we've seen throughout this study and then where we're going with this study. So first we see a light green color, low density, and we've seen overall low vigor and growth in our untreated control, which is really to be expected without any additional nutrition. As we move forward and look at this ammonium sulfate, we see a really dark green color. And that came on relatively fast in the study and has persisted. Kind of interestingly, we did see an enhanced growth curve, but it didn't jump out like you might expect with some of those other quicker release non-coated products. As we look at the next one, this is our urea-based fertilizer. Um, this did have a little bit of sulfur in it as well. What we notice with this urea is we've got pretty good density, uh, pretty good color, but it's not that dark, dark green that we got out of this ammonium sulfate. And as far as the growth curve went on this, it started off steady and then we got a pretty rapid increase in growth. So we saw a pretty steep increase in growth just a couple weeks into the study. And we're sitting at week three in the study right now. Now, with this 1600 protein hydrolysate, this is OMRI approved. Uh, for those of you who are interested in fully organic lawn fertilization programs, this had a very consistent growth curve, and we're actually seeing that continue and increase all the way into week three right now. And I anticipate that we see that growth continue to increase through week four or five before a second application would be recommended. So I'll let you be the judge and look for yourself. But what I'm seeing is, of course, pretty low quality density uh, and color with our untreated. The best color with the ammonium sulfate and the urea and the protein hydrolysate were pretty similar, at least through my eyes. Thanks for following it along. I encourage you to pay attention to what's on the labels on those bags. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.